Why use the WaterLaze MD laser instead of the high-speed drill to do operative dentistry? Because with the laser, there is no vibration, no detrimental heat to the tooth. The laser is a gentler, better way to treat and preserve the tooth structure. The WaterLaze MD is fundamentally different from the high-speed drill. The high-speed drill cuts by grinding and crushing the tooth structure. In comparison, the WaterLaze MD uses gentle pulses of laser energy combined with a fine water spray to sculpt teeth with precision and comfort. Unlike the high-speed drill, WaterLaze MD laser-prepared surfaces are free of necrotic and infected smear layer and retain the natural microstructures of the teeth. Because there is no vibration and detrimental heating, the laser cavity preparations require minimal to no anesthesia. A new laser dentist should introduce anesthesia-free procedures only after they have mastered laser settings, cutting, and all basic technical skills related to laser cavity preparations. The WaterLaze MD is capable of cutting any class cavity preparation. One, two, three, four, or five without any limitations. There are two hand pieces when using the WaterLaze MD to prepare cavities, the MD Gold or the Turbo. Each hand piece uses slightly different tips. For the MD Gold hand piece, select from a range of zip tips or sapphire tips. For the Turbo hand piece, only sapphire turbo tips are available. The MD Gold handpiece is closer in technique to what you're used to from many years of high-speed drill experience. Although it may be similar, the MD Gold is not the same as the burr where you contact the tooth and apply pressure to cut. The MD Gold tip should be 1 to 2 millimeters from the tooth surface. The MD Gold requires no pressure or contact to cut. Brief contact to tissue is not a problem as long as it's quickly removed from the surface. Let's now demonstrate the turbo handpiece. The turbo handpiece is a non-contact handpiece and will require a bit more practice to master the cutting. When speed is needed to cut through hard enamel tooth structure, the turbo handpiece is your number one choice. The aiming beam will provide guidance to the location of the cutting action. Brief visual checks during preparation are critical since the turbo handpiece has no tactile feedback. Magnification loops are recommended for better visualization of the cutting site. No matter what procedure you are performing or tissue type you're operating on, WaterLaze gives you complete control with four settings power, frequency, air and water spray, and pulse mode. When you understand how each of these settings affects cutting, the laser is simple to use. Let's start with power. These buttons increase or decrease the amount of laser energy coming from the tip. Using high power between 5 and 8 watts will produce deep cuts and using powers between 3 to 4 watts for a shallower cut. The turbo handpiece will cut 4 times faster in depth than the MD Gold handpiece. High frequency provides for smoother edges, while low frequency allows for better control. With MD Turbo, the higher the frequency and power, the faster the cutting. Reducing the frequency will allow you to reduce pain sensitivity during cutting. H mode is used for all hard tissue cutting. S mode will not cut hard tissue. Hard tissue requires significant amounts of water spray in comparison to the soft tissue procedures. 30% water and 60% air is a good starting point for air water spray settings. Water level below 25% or no water will produce charring. A good ratio is one part water to two parts air. Again, simply watch your results and adjust as needed. To reduce pain sensitivity, increase the water. Increased water may slow down the cutting. Focusing and defocusing the laser beam will allow you to control the cutting speed without having to adjust power. To slow down, pull the handpiece away from the tissue surface. To increase cutting speed, bring the handpiece closer to the tissue surface. 
To start the cavity prep, first check to see if access to the decay requires the removal of gingival tissue. Remove any gingival tissue necessary to reveal the decay. Start about one centimeter away from the tooth surface and slowly advance toward the decay until ablation can be visualized. Slowly move the laser around to remove the decay completely. Frequently stop to check the cutting depth and focus defocus accordingly. When the preparation is completed, proceed with checking for softness in the structure. Use any of the following instruments, an explorer, excavator, or a slow-speed round burr, based on your preference. A matrix band around the adjacent tooth is recommended for protection. To start the cavity prep, open the groove and seek the decay first by aiming the laser toward the lingual cusp with the tip tilted at approximately 10 to 15 degrees. Frequently stop to check the cutting depth and adjust the power or focus defocus accordingly. After you open the fissure to remove decay, check with an explorer to see if the tissue is soft. Continue to remove tooth structure if necessary. To prepare the interproximal surface, start at the marginal ridge until you clear the contact with the adjacent tooth and remove the decay. Do not use a pendulum swinging motion like with the drill. Use a side-to-side -side motion from the buccal to lingual surface, moving in a straight line across and down for this step of the preparation. To widen the preparation to reach the decay, use the handpiece at a slight angle. To transition from the interproximal to the occlusal surface, gradually slope around the cusp and then into the groove. Follow the same technique as described before. When the preparation is completed, proceed with checking for softness in the structure. Use any of the following instruments, an explorer, excavator, or a slow speed round burr, based on your preference. After the anesthetic free laser cavity preparation, the patients are comfortable without numb lips. 10 reasons to use the water lays instead of the drill. No anesthesia in most cases. No detrimental heat and vibration. Happier patients. Less stressful for the dentist. More preps in one visit. Soft tissue gingivectomy to access class five subgingival decay is easy and convenient. Minimally invasive. Preserve tooth structure. No problem to remove composites. Better practice marketing to attract new patients 